Hi, this is Catherine Iring with Aging Gracefully TV. I want you to live a long, healthy life without regrets. So I didn't create this video because I'm thinking I'm so good at gardening. That is not the case. What I'm saying is gardening is so fun. It's so good to try new things, but gardening is healthy. Works your body, works your mind. Please don't be afraid to try new things. And every year that you're gardening, get better. So have fun. Tell me if you have created a garden this year too. The cool thing about broccoli is I love to plant it in August. This broccoli here, even though we're in June right now, it was planted last August and it stayed alive through the winter, just the way I winterize things. Um, it's a cold crop, so I was able to do that. And then um, by March, I was already eating from that plant and it's continuing to just grow abundantly. Wow, uh, it won't great. probably won't make it through the entire summer because it doesn't like the real heat at some point. But then in August, I'll be planting again. Wow, I had never thought about planting vegetables in the fall for the next spring. Mm -hmm. Green onions, there's, there's actually quite a few. Swiss chard, uh, kale, there's a number of coal crops that you can plant. They'll make it through the winter, most winters, and especially if you have any kind of covering for them. I think I started my system with four by four garden squares probably 10 years ago. As the weather is beginning to get really cold in the late fall, I continue to add squares on top, and then I use plexiglass on the top of that. In the spring, I start unlayering the squares so I can start eating my broccoli, Swiss chard, onions, kale, anything that I had planted in the fall. Also, First thing by March, I'm planting my lettuce and spinach as well so that I get that growing early. It really does love cold weather. Call me crazy if you want, but I love my bamboo and I use it in projects all over my yard. So I play around with my bamboo this year more than ever because I've, had, I've built some additional garden squares, but besides that, I've just had some extra time this year. So this will be for staking up some tomatoes over here. And then down here, if you can see, I already have my beans planted and they'll be crawling up the stream. Of course, I've got plans for a lot more to be planted, even just in the next few days as it's finally warming up. And then I'll be able to show you the boxes again in a couple weeks. You know, and it goes where I want it to go. You do have to keep up with it, but you'll see there's some really fun projects you can do with bamboo. By the beginning of May, I decided I was going to really add on some new garden space this year. It's super easy when you work with garden squares like I do because you just set them down. You can add the newspaper and the soil on top of that. You can plant it actually that very day if you want. My biggest challenge is retraining the dogs so they're not going through my new garden space. At the end of the day, I had three new garden squares, all filled with soil, ready to be planted. And I had seedlings going in the house that were just about ready to be put outside. This all is lettuce that you've been picking already for your salads? I think I've had maybe some chipmunks eating that lettuce along with me as well. It's just not as abundant as it was at one point. But I've just recently planted some seeds so that some more, lettuce more will grow too. You can... So I'm curious about the cauliflower because all I've seen is the cauliflower in the store, which is this really big head. Is that what you're actually going to get on these? That's a great question, and I hope so. The truth is, 
I don't really know, Monica. This is my first year with cauliflower. And um, so I hope I get some big, beautiful ball of white or purple cauliflower. But Ooh, in, I love purple yes. cauliflower. <laughs> but in reality, you know, it's an experiment. Like every time, every year, and I do something new, it's always an experiment. Um, I have lettuce that I really need to pick and start eating. And here you can see a little bit of teeny little lettuce growing. I planted some seeds in here so when this is gone I'll have new stuff coming up. Then I have green peppers and red peppers and zucchini. And I have baby zucchini coming up already. And there's lots of flowers. And this whole row here are green beans. And this is actually my first gar vegetable garden. So I'm curious as to how it's going to come out, but so far it seems to be doing really good. And then the neighbor, she has a raised garden because it's not as easy for her to bend down. <laughs> her lettuce seeds are coming up really good, but we did notice that her green beans aren't doing as well as mine so we kind of think that it's because it's raised that maybe it needs more water because some water does drip out especially from the side so we just bought a rain barrel because we're over here and we don't really have a good water source so we have a rain barrel that we hooked up to the drain uh, Water will just come down here when it rains. This is what we've been using, a five gallon jug, which is kind of like hard. So now we'll be able to just hook up a hose and then water our stuff. It'll make it a whole lot easier. But that, that's our garden. If you can plant beans with your grandchildren or any small child, do it because beans grow so fast. And if you get the purple variety, you can call them magic beans because they turn green when you cook them. It's really just a little more than three weeks and you are eating beans from the vine. I like growing carrots in pots because our soil is so hard here in northern Ohio. But in the pots, they grow nice and deep and they're straight and they're strong. Some people have to worry about deer 
My biggest challenge in my yard is probably really my dogs. Also, I do have a chipmunk problem, but as you'll see, my dog going after a chipmunk makes a much bigger problem than the chipmunk ever could. So I love being creative and playing around. So this is some of what I've done with the, the bamboo. It's right here, growing in my yard. I make the trellises for for the beans. This is really just here to keep the dogs out. This one now is stringing up the uh, cucumbers. You can see I've got basil mixed in there and also a tomato plant. I like to just plant in every little nook and cranny fun to, to use it as decoration. I've done a lot less with flowers this year um, because I did more with the vegetables this year. I made this gardening video for you to try to encourage you get outdoors more, have fun, exercise your body and your brain. Grow food in your own yard. It is the healthiest food you can have.